For Little Big Planet Vita, we knew we were going to need a new developer, and straight away we thought of Tarsia. We've worked with Tarsia for a long time on costumes for Little Big Planet. They're incredibly creative, and the thoughts of those guys getting their hands on a full game we thought was really exciting. So there's been a real close collaboration between Media Molecule and Tarsia in creating Little Big Planet Vita. And they always want to push things and try out new ideas. And Little Big Planet Vita is looking fantastic. Knowing, you know, Double Eleven and Tarsia, they will have probably done better than what I've got in my head. Yeah, I think the fact they've managed to squeeze a whole LBP to an improved experience and then made it so I can take it out and play it on the move. It's amazing. The game's looking fantastic. Tarsia, totally brilliant. Um, love the stuff they've done in the past, and they're doing a fantastic job with, with this. I think they're doing it better than we could, probably, which is hard to admit, but, um, you know, hard to deny. The time is now, Sackboy. Destiny awaits. This is not just LBP by the numbers. This is a full LBP experience. It's new story mode, new art, new features, new tools, everything. If I'd have known there was something up there to hit my head on, I surely would have tried to hit it harder. <laughs> We're not doing this alone. Our partner and brothers in arms, Double Eleven, they have allowed us to create a full console game on a handheld device. So when we announced the game and we showed it to the press and to the public, there was a really, really positive response, which was great. And one of the things that rang out from that was that people were saying, this could be the game for the PlayStation Vita. Maybe most importantly, we worked with the foremost experts on Little Big Planet, except for Mina Molecule themselves, of course, and that would be the community creators. When you're creating a level, it's very cool when normally you're alone at home. I mean, here, there's a lot of designers around you, and they can help you. When I first got the job here, I kind of had the idea that I'd be shipped over to Sweden and then put in a corner somewhere and fed little tasks. But, you know, now that I'm here, it's uh, all the community guys working on this project really have a, a high degree of influence to how the game has turned out, and it's, it's pretty awesome to see everybody's input come together. The thing about these guys are that they're really passionate about the game. They love and respect the franchise. I mean, they've been working with this ever since Little Big Planet 1. So in all fairness, they're, they're the best there are. With this game, we're going to be bringing a whole bunch of new features, such as touch and tilt. And this gives us a lot more freedom when we create levels, more than we've ever had. With 3G, the creators will be able to download levels and publish them wherever they are and whenever they feel like it. And we're really striving to try and make this the definitive version of Little Big Planet. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the community will be doing with our game. For the fans, by the fans, it's never been more true than right here, right now, in the making of Little Big Planet PS Vita.